Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and as a Jesuit formed by the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius Loyola, I've learned that we ought to savor the graces that God gives us. When we savor them, we show our gratitude, and we allow them to take deeper root within us. And that's what I'd like to do today, by savoring the gift that Jesus gives us, and which we celebrated last Sunday, his body and blood. Pope John Paul was a big fan of Eucharistic adoration. And as we reflect on the beautiful mystery that Jesus remains close to us in the Eucharist, I want to share with you some of his words written on the 750th anniversary of the institution of the feast in honor of Jesus' body and blood. Here's what he wrote in 1996. It is invaluable to converse with Christ and Leaning against Jesus' breast like his beloved disciple, we can feel the infinite love of his heart. Closeness to Christ in silence and contemplation does not distance us from our contemporaries, but on the contrary, makes us attentive and open to human joy and distress and broadens our heart on a global scale. It unites us with our brothers and sisters in humanity and particularly with children who are the Lord's dearly beloved. Through adoration, the Christian mysteriously contributes to the radical transformation of the world and to the sowing of the gospel. Anyone who prays to the Savior draws the whole world with him and raises it to God. Those who stand before the Lord are therefore fulfilling an eminent service. They are presenting to Christ all those who do not know him or are far from him. They keep watch in his presence on their behalf.